were Mandy and Kyle. We finally decided to follow through with a dream we've had for the past decade and a half. To go and see the world. In 2022, we took a huge leap into the unknown. We sold practically everything we owned and embarked on a new journey. With the kids and our dog Penelope, we moved across the ocean to Portugal. Now, travel is a lifestyle for us as we experience new cultures and meet people all over the world. We're back, baby! If you remember, the last episode we released was over a year ago and we were traveling through Italy. That trip was a dream come true and we came home longing to be back on the road. The travel bug bit us hard, and we couldn't shake the feeling we were supposed to be traveling more often and longer than justification. We took a break from releasing episodes to figure out what was next for us in life. Here's what happened. Hey everybody, life's been a little chaotic because uh, we got back from Italy and we decided that we could not live a life without travel. And so we applied for visas and we're moving to Portugal. Let's go. This may seem a little sudden, but it really isn't. We've been planning this for a while and uh, we've just been keeping it on the down low. But now we are eight days out from moving to Portugal. <laughs> Don't say eight days. It feels like it's gonna come so fast. It has been way more work than we ever anticipated. <laughs> totally worth it, we hope, <laughs> but we're not ready at all. We have an entire no. house to get ready. We have got to figure out how to pack our entire lives up into two suitcases each, get our pets across the ocean, which is no small feat. See all these gray hairs that have come in? No, there's barely, there's nothing there, babe. <laughs> that's real, that's why I married No, you. there's nothing there. You lie to me. Yeah. You do All have right. a hair appointment in a few days too. So. All right, eight days, let's get to work. So I just ran to Home Depot and I picked up some moving boxes, um, trying to see if we can consolidate everything down into a few boxes that we can just put in the attic that we don't have to rent a storage room while we're in Portugal. I don't know if we can do it, let's see. Oh my gosh, the dust. This is unreal. You don't realize how dirty you are until you start packing. Final documents notarized. So close. This is the current state of our house. <laughs> There's just crap everywhere. Oh, don't even, oh, we shouldn't look over there. Um, but what we're trying to get rid of, oh gosh, this is, this is the state of our life right now. Here are the two suitcases that I'm trying to pack my entire life into, and they're overflowing. I've never been a light packer, but it's, really bad when you're trying to move to another country for a year. Taking a quick break uh, from moving and getting the house prepared to go pick us up some lunch. You know, it's uh, funny because as you go through this whole thing, two o'clock rolls around, you're like, I feel awful and I don't know why. And it's because you haven't eaten lunch yet. So sometimes you need to go get yourself some food. This is really, really hard. What are you doing? Um. Trying to save us some money. <gasps> the... What the? Wearing socks on the counters, you're going to fall off. Mm! <laughs> but look how cheap this butt is. At least Ooh, wiggle off. it, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. <laughs> wiggle it, wiggle it. I don't oh! Know. <laughs> So I'm taking a little break with my Earl Grey tea and I thought I would tell you all why we're moving to Portugal. We get asked this a lot. A lot of people are like, okay, well I get that you're wanting to do a big move, um, have a new adventure for a year, but why Portugal? A few years ago, 
I remember watching Rick Steves episode, which I love Rick Steves by the way, he's amazing. Um, he did an episode in Lisbon and I remember watching it and just feeling really connected to Lisbon and thinking, this is a place that I really wanna go to. You know how like when your gut knows something is right for you? Um, that was the feeling that I got and I couldn't quite place my finger on it. I wasn't even considering moving at that point. This was probably five or so years ago. I started to think about how there were so many things that I want to do in my life that I haven't done yet. And while 36 is not old by any standard, I still felt like I was missing out on something that I couldn't quite place my finger on. I realized it really was the uh, absence of travel, how I felt like I was missing something that I was supposed to be doing. So Kyle and I started to talk about it and he felt the same way. And we had always talked about going and seeing the world after the kids grew up. Why do we have to wait until they grow up? Why can't we bring them with us? Why can't they go see the world with us? It started to become a more realistic conversation about a year ago. And Portugal just kept coming up. We started talking about it and researching it. And finally, we were just kind of like, it ticks all our boxes of where we would want to go. We're gonna do this. We've never been there before. Are we crazy? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But it's, it feels right. And I am a really big believer in intuition and my gut has been telling me this is right for a long time. And we're gonna leap, we're gonna do this. Now, what are you excited for with moving to Portugal? I'm excited for the beaches, the people, and the language. Yeah. What are you nervous about? Um, making friends. Yeah. I think you're gonna make friends. So I think if I was being really honest, I would say that as excited as I am and how I've been dreaming of this for so long. I'm still really nervous. I mean, there's things, I have so many people that I'm responsible for now, like the, my children and my animals. And um, Kyle and I feel a lot of pressure of making sure this is a really good experience for everyone. Lately, I have been up really late getting documents put together, purchasing things, and it's getting to me. We're so close. We're actually so close right now. To keep holding on. In our final days before the move, we put the camera away so we could focus on saying goodbye to friends and family. We knew it would take everything we had in us for one final push. But on the other side of all the hard work was something better than we ever could have imagined. For the next eight months, we explored our new home in Lisbon. We settled into our apartment in the city, made new friends, and began learning Portuguese. But. Lisbon was just our first stop.
time in Lisbon was incredible. But now, it's time for the next chapter. Did this scare you? Did this scare you? So where we left... It smells like pee. Okay, three, two, and go. Where we left last time... <laughs> we last left her. Off, left, last her. Okay, let me try that again. Off. <laughs> So where we... Where we last left off. Where we... I can't say it. It won't come out of my... <laughs> and we had a bunch of cheese left over. And there's a stray dog that ran by and Mandy tried to go feed it. And it peed on the cheese that she gave her. I actually turned it on. Crap. What do you say? What do you say? Sweetie, darling.